Hi YouTube, this is Steve Kiki. Um, it's still Christmas Day. I'm back at home. Got home around close to 10 o'clock because while I was at my grandmother's house, it started snowing and snowing very heavy. So being I live about 30 to 35 minutes away from them, I figured and me and my aunts and the rest of my family decided to go home because they live about 15 minutes away or 20 minutes away. <clears throat> so I'm back at home. This is the earliest that I've been back at home on a Christmas ever. I've never been back home this early on Christmas. Normally I'm at my grandmother's house until about 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, please keep my grandfather in prayer. Um, he, <clears throat> my grandfather, I'm sorry, I, I just get a little emotional um, when I talk about my family. Um, I love him so much. Um, my grandfather's about 82 years old. Um, and the enemy is trying to attack him. And I believe and I firmly believe in prayer. And I believe that prayer changes things. And I believe that me praying over him tonight at, at, at his house, at, at my grandparents' house, and and me praying on my way home, I believe that God will hear my cry and God will hear my prayer for God to touch my grandfather's body and for God to give him complete healing. I prayed on the way home tonight because my grandfather took ill this afternoon and we were all there. And I believe in prayer. I don't think I'm going to be able to show this video. I believe in prayer. And I believe that God will answer your prayers. I love my grandmother and I love my grandfather with all of my heart. They took a big part in raising me. And my mother and my father were married when I was, <clears throat> they were married up until I was 21. But my, um, well, until I was 19, I'm sorry. But they were married for 21 years, but I was 19 when my parents divorced. But during the years that my parents were together, my grandparents played a very important part of my life. They spoiled me. I was the only grandchild for about, I was the only grandchild for eight years. I was eight years old when my brother was born. And I was the only child. So my grandparents and me have this bond that's very, very close. So when something happens to one of them, it hurts. It hurts me. My grandmother last year, it's been a year ago, that she had a stroke before Christmas on last year. <clears throat> but God has brought her and raised her up so much. She walks on her own. She doesn't have to have a cane that she choose to have one, but she doesn't have to have a cane that much anymore. God healed her and God allowed her to be able to get around and do things with not being in a wheelchair anymore and not being on a, a cane anymore like she has to be. And <clears throat> God gave her her mind, her mind. God has her mind. And so when I'm coming to you and when, I, when I'm talking, this is the first time I've shared really any family things about my family on YouTube. This is my very first time. But I had to share what I'm feeling right now. And I've gone to God in prayer. 
And if you are a Christian, if you're saved, even if you're not saved, please pray for my grandparents. Pray that God will strengthen my grandfather. And I know that he's not going to be here forever. I know this. But I do need your sincere prayers. That he will be with us until God is ready for him. Um... I was supposed to be coming to y'all to share what I, some things that I gifts that I got for Christmas, but I just ended up going another whole way with with this. Um, <clears throat> I just ask that you pray. I'm a prayer person. I pray and I go to God. And I don't know, maybe God want me to say this so that it can help someone else. Because I don't know who else out there is going through. Maybe your parent is sick or maybe your grandparent is sick. And one thing I can say is prayer. Just pray for them. God will be the one. God will be the one to strengthen them. My grandfather has been pastoring my church for over 50 years. Uh, I think about 55 years. He's given his entire life to my church. And I just believe that if we pray and we pull together, I will make it all right. God will make it all right. Very rarely will you probably see me this way because I'm normally a person that's uplifting someone else or helping someone else. But then there are times when I get this way that I shut myself away from the world and, and I don't do videos on YouTube or I, or I don't go around people because of me feeling this way. And no, I'm not sad. I'm not sad. I just am sincere about prayer. I'm just sincere about prayer. God has, and I might have to just do another whole video on what I got for Christmas. Um, but God is leading me in another direction right now. And God, he's just so awesome. Even in everything that we go through, he is still so awesome. And, and I don't know the, I don't know a lot of times why God used me in the way that he used me. But all I am is grateful for to have his anointing on my life just to have a connection and, and to have a relationship with God it means more to me than anything on this earth so by me having that relationship with God and I pray to him that's a connection that I can have with him that's a connection that I can have with him in a relationship with him he said I will never leave you nor will I forsake you that means God won't leave you alone he won't pour, put more on you than you can bear he will allow you to make it he will allow you to make it God is exalted in everything. God is still worthy of the praise. No matter what we go through, no matter what situ situations you come up against, no matter how your back will may be against the wall, because God knows this year in 2010, I have gone through some stuff that I financially that I never thought I would go through. 
back been against the wall many days but one thing that I can say is God always provided for me he always made a way for me and that little boy back there in that room he always made a way for me and my son even when I didn't see a way even when I didn't know where the food was gonna come from as you can see I'm a plus-size woman I ain't haven't went hungry my son haven't went hungry we haven't went without because of the grace and the mercy of God the one who is above all create he created everything oh my god mm. y'all I, I just I just still have to exalt the Lord for doing it again for reviving my grandfather again for bringing him back to us again I give God all the glory and I give God all the honor I apologize if this video is not what you wanted it's not about hair, it's not about makeup, it's not about earrings and jewelry, it's not about anything but just God right now. Just about a relationship with God. And I've been procrastinating and saying I'm going to get this second channel started so that I can deliver the word of God to the people out there in YouTube land and I've procrastinated and I have to sit right here right now and ask the Lord to please forgive me please forgive me father for not doing what you told me to do I accepted the call to ministry over a year ago and I told God I would do what he want me to do and I have to get this next channel up just so that the word of God can be discussed because that's what I promised to do and I haven't done it I apologize to YouTube you people out in YouTube land I apologize to you God just for not doing what I was supposed to do that's one thing about us we gotta know when we're wrong and I was wrong because I did, didn't do something God already told me and gave me the ministry for to do. I, I, I thank God for just being good. Mm, just for being who he is. He is a sovereign God. He is a magnificent God. Oh, I might as well stop this video right now because when I come into praise and I come into worship with the Father, I cannot, I, I can't make it brief because this is a relationship. It's about a, 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 a relationship with God. It's, it's about, oh, I can't even finish. I can't even finish. You two, just pray for my family. Keep me and my son in your prayers. God bless you. I wish the best for every one of you. And I'll come back in a few. I don't know if it's going to be tonight or tomorrow. But I will come back and do a, a couple of things that I got uh, for Christmas that I want to show you. But right now, it's the time for me and God. And I, I got I to gotta respect that. Okay, you guys. Take good night. Be blessed. And, and I love you. God loves you. Thank you. Thank you.